Korea's current account surplus for September surged more than 50 percent from last year, a trend mainly fueled by booming exports. In contrast, the service sector posted another deficit. Park Hee-jun zeroes in on the signs of recovery in trade. Korea's current account recorded its highest ever surplus in the month of September, according to the Bank of Korea's report on Friday. The central bank's data showed that it reached 12.21 billion U.S. dollars in September, compared with a surplus of a little over 8 billion U.S. dollars the previous year. This is the first time the numbers have surpassed the 12 billion dollar mark. The central bank attributes the expansion to an increased goods account surplus ahead of the Chuseok holidays, which reached 15 billion in September from 10.6 billion a year earlier. A recovery in the global economy was also an important factor. Meanwhile, the service sector deficit grew to $2.9 billion from $2.5 billion the previous year. Central bank officials said on top of a deterioration in manufacturing services, the drop in the number of Chinese tourists due to China's de facto ban on travel to the country and the rise in overseas trips widened the deficit. The primary income account surplus rose to $1.15 billion in September from a surplus of $780 million a year earlier. Exports also rose 25.5 percent on-year to 55.09 billion in September, with imports surging 20.5 percent to slightly over 40 billion dollars. Park Hee-jun, Arirang News.